Well, good morning, and thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're all doing well, having a great start to your morning. And today we're going to be in Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12, one of my favorite books in all of the Bible. I love Hebrews 12, and we're just going to be sticking with the very first verse today. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. It's a good one. This is what the writer of Hebrews writes. He says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, since so many faithful men and women have gone before us, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Amen. Amen. Let us throw off everything that hinders. And when I, when I read this verse, I'm reminded of the Grand Canyon. You know, if you've ever walked down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon before, you, you know that it's, it's not uncommon as you, you walk down the trail to see items littered about uh, off to the side of the trail as you make your way down. And, and here's the, the reason for that. It's because climbing down to the bottom of, of the Grand Canyon is, is the exact opposite of experience of, of climbing up a mountain. You know, when you climb up a mountain, the, the hardest part is the, the front end when you're climbing up, but then the, the, the way down is a bit easier, depending on how steep the mountain actually is. But when you're going in down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, it's the exact opposite experience. And so men and women often start in, in the cool of the morning, and then they make it all the way down to the bottom and the very hottest part of the day and realize at that point, uh-oh, now I have to climb all the way back up out of the Grand Canyon. And they realize they're, they're just carrying too much stuff. And so they throw off their coats off to the side of, of the trail. They throw out their box of, of protein bars or granola bars. They throw out their extra pair of shoes. They throw off their entire backpack. They're throwing off anything that hinders because their one goal at this point is just to make it out, just to get to the top and out of the Grand Canyon. So they're, they're willing to throw off anything that's going to hinder them, anything that's going to add weight to their journey. They throw it off. Brand new coat, brand new shoes, brand new bag, doesn't matter. They don't need it. They're just trying to get out. And you know, a lot of times the the Christian life feels that way, that it's a hard trudge. And we need, the writer of Hebrews says, to throw off anything that hinders, anything that's getting in the way of pursuing Jesus. And we know that these things that hinder us, that they might not even be inherently sinful. I mean, the writer of Hebrews deals with sin later on in the verse when he says, and the sin that so easily entangles. And so it doesn't even have to, to be a sin necessarily, but it's just something that's blocking, impeding your, your walk with Jesus. Something that's making it, it harder for you to follow Jesus. Well, we need to throw off everything we're told it hinders. And, and for some of us, this, this might just be distractions in our life. You know, it's that game on your phone. It's that app on your phone that just takes up hours and hours of your time. It's that TV in your bedroom that just takes up hours and hours of your time. How might the Lord be asking you to remove this distraction, to throw off this, this distraction that is ultimately hindering you? For others of us, it's our relationships. Perhaps a boyfriend or girlfriend, perhaps a friend in, in, in your life that you just know continually, perpetually tries to persuade you and move you away from Jesus and to make decisions that you wouldn't make otherwise. That they've become, if you are honest, a hindrance in your life. For others of us, it's fear. We know God is calling us to step into something new, but if we're honest, we're just crippled by fear. What are people going to think? What if we don't do a good job? What if we screw this up? And so fear proves to be a hindrance to our walk. We need to throw it off. We need to ask God to give us fresh courage, fresh boldness, fresh hope that, that we can pursue the calling that he has for us. And for others of us, it's, it's burnout. We've just overcommitted. We're overcommitted at work. We take on too many projects at work. We're overcommitted when it comes to our kids. We sign them up for every class, every sporting event, every committee. That, that involves our kids, we sign up for, and so we're, we're just burnt out. We're overcommitted. We don't have space. We don't have time to, 
to connect with Jesus, to meet with him, to invest in our walk with him. Friend, friend, what is the thing right now that you need to throw off? What is the hindrance in your life? Let me read again to you the advice, the words, the command of the writer of Hebrews. He says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witness, let us throw off everything, everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Let it be, church, for us. Let it be. Amen.